Hey there everyone, welcome back. We're diving into a topic that's becoming increasingly relevant in our fast-paced world, anxiety. So why are more and more people suffering from anxiety? Let's unpack this together. First off, let's talk about the stats. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization, anxiety disorders affect over 264 million people globally? That's a staggering number. And if you think about it, that's roughly one in 13 people. Isn't that mind blowing? Now, why is this happening? Let's break it down. One of the key reasons is the rise of social media. I mean, think about it. How many of us scroll through our feeds, comparing our lives to those perfect snapshots of other people? It's no wonder we feel overwhelmed. But here's a thought. Could this constant comparison be fueling our anxiety? Another factor is the pressure to succeed. We live in a society that constantly pushes us to achieve more, be it in our careers, relationships or personal goals. It's like we're on this never-ending hamster wheel, isn't it? And I can't help but wonder how many of us are setting unrealistic expectations for ourselves. Then there's the impact of the pandemic. It has changed the way we live, work and interact. The uncertainty and isolation have taken a toll on our mental health. Have you noticed how many people are talking about their struggles more openly now? It's a conversation that's long overdue, but it also brings to light just how deep-rooted these issues are. Now, let's explore the potential reasons behind this rise in anxiety. One major contributor is lifestyle changes. We're living in a digital age where everything is at our fingertips, but this convenience can lead to information overload. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the sheer amount of content available? It's like our brains are constantly switched on, which can lead to increased stress levels. And what about our sleep patterns? Lack of sleep is a huge factor in mental health issues. Are you getting those precious Zs or are you scrolling through your phone late at night? It's a vicious cycle. The less sleep we get, the more anxious we become, and then we struggle to rest. Now let's not forget about the importance of community and support systems. Many people feel isolated, and without a strong support network, it can be challenging to cope. Have you reached out to someone lately? Sometimes just opening up to a friend can make all the difference. So what can we do about this? Awareness is key. By understanding the factors contributing to anxiety, we can start to take action. Whether it's limiting our social media use, prioritising sleep or seeking support, every little step counts. As we wrap up today's episode, I want you to reflect on this. How can you create a healthier relationship with your thoughts and your environment? Remember, it's okay to seek help and take time for yourself. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this discussion helpful, please share it with someone who might need to hear this. Until next time, take care of yourselves and let's keep the conversation going.